So now we will talk about concept development. So concept development is done after the product planning stage. It is done with the reference in mind. So you develop concepts only with a certain reference in mind. And that reference is developed by the customer needs which are captured in the market research. So the market research happens in the planning stage and that develops the customer expectations and customer needs. And that translates to requirements in the form of aesthetic requirements, functional requirements, ergonomic, ergonomic requirements, durability requirements, etc, etc. So there can be many different types of requirements which can develop. And based on that, sketches are prepared, 3D models are prepared and preliminary specifications of the vehicle are established. So this is what happens in concept development. So while developing a concept, important questions have to be answered. Like for example, which category of vehicle will the product fit in? What vehicle will look and feel like? What kind of category or what kind of market segment will it cater to? So all of these are very pertinent questions and aid the concept development. What would be the features? What would be the performance level of the product? So whether it will be high performance product or whether it will be entry level performance product. And what would be the basic specification? So what do you mean by basic specifications? Specifications which define the vehicle in terms of its dimensions, in terms of its major systems like powertrain, what kind of powertrain it will have, what kind of body structure it will have, what kind of suspension systems and wheels it will have. So all of these are very basic specifications which will be laid out during the concept development phase. And the last question and one of the most important question is what is the unique value proposition? in terms of its differentiation in the market, what are the unique value propositions of this product as compared to the competition. So this unique value proposition can be in any form. It can either be in aesthetics, the look of the vehicle to differentiate the product from the other competition. It can be also in terms of performance. So if it is having best in class performance, then that would differentiate it. Or in terms of new technologies which are being introduced into the market. So after developing the aesthetic and functional requirements, the industrial design and the concept engineering design layout are done. So these two are the major activities in the concept development. The industrial design is purely in the form of aesthetic and to some extent the ergonomic aspects are also considered. And the concept engineering design layout is with respect to the specifications, the features and the overall architecture of the vehicle. 